Yo, what's up? This is Patrick from Guy in the Cube. And in this Two Minute Tuesday, I'm gonna show you how to clear the model cache in Power BI Desktop. All right, since this is a Two Minute Tuesday, you guys know how I like to do. None of this talking. Let's head straight over to my laptop. Okay, so a while ago, they released what I like to call, what is known as the Performance Analyzer in Power BI Desktop. And since, it's, since it was released, a lot of people are using it to figure out what's the longest running DAX query um, across all the elements in my report. And so they go to view, you enable the performance analyzer. And if you're not using it before you go to production, you should be, all right? And so they'll open this up, they'll click start recording, and then they'll refresh their visuals. And what you'll see is it returns a list of the durations, the run times for your elements. But since we're looking at the model cache, right, I only want to focus on the DAX query. And so I'm going to use the sort icon to sort everything by the DAX query. So you click it, you choose DAX query, and then you change it to descending. And then I can identify the element that has the longest running DAX query. So I click, click table and you can see that the DAX query takes about 800 milliseconds, almost a second. So that's the bottleneck in this guy and I want to go do some performance tuning. So I'm going to modify my DAX, you know, maybe remove some columns, look at my filters, fix it up. And I know what you guys are thinking. This is a, this is pretty fast, Patrick. I know it is for such a small data set. But when you start working with really large data sets, with really complex data sets that require complex DAX, you know, a half a second, a couple of milliseconds can become very, very critical um, to the report runtime. All right. And so I make some changes. You know, I do some performance tuning and then they come back and they click refresh visuals and they go, well, I did all that work and maybe it went up, maybe it went down. It just depends, you know? And so, but this, you actually skip the step. If you want to get the real, the actual runtime of that query, there's one thing you need to do before you click refresh visuals. After you make all your changes, you need to clear the model cache, okay? There's a couple of ways to do it, um, but the easiest way, right, is to use DAX Studio. So let me show you. So I get DAX Studio open. I'm gonna open up DAX Studio. The, con the connect window will appear. Choose the second radio button, PBI slash SSDT. Choose your PBIX file in the drop down list and click connect. Then you'll see your model, and then in the ribbon, make sure home is selected and click the icon labeled clear cache. Click it. In the output window, it's going to say cache cleared for this database. Perfect, right? It's perfect. It's cleared. So then I'll come over here. I'm going to clear this out. Now, my baseline right now was about almost a second, right? Eight, 900 milliseconds. I'm going to go ahead and click refresh my visuals with the cache cleared and let's take a peek. And so now, right, all that stuff was done in the cache. So about nine seconds. But once the cache is cleared, you can see my actual runtime of my DAX query is a little over a second. So before you click refresh visuals, you know, after you made all your optimizations, go and clear the cache, then refresh your visuals so you can get the actual runtime. Okay, what do you guys think? Are you doing this? Have you used this? Have you used the DAX? DAX Studio to clear the cache or do some the performance analyzer? I love to know. Let's have a conversation. Post it in the comments below. This is your first time visiting the Guy in the Cube channel. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. And if you like my video, give me a big thumbs up. As always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.